Usapang Alaga Nutrition Counseling, guidelines for participation and viewing. This service is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease to be used for a therapeutic purpose or made as a substitute for the advice of your child's healthcare provider or doctor. The information may include the views or recommendations of third parties and does not necessarily reflect the views of Abbott Nutrition. The views and opinions expressed by the host and speakers do not state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the assumptions, views, opinions, and insinuations made by the host or guests do not reflect those of the show, the management, and Abbott Nutrition. Only questions pertaining to children three years old and above will be answered in compliance with the milk code. And questions concerning children three years and below must be directed to viewers' own healthcare providers. By participating in Usapang Alaga's Facebook Live, participants agree and acknowledge that all information shared during the activity shall be visible to all live stream viewers. Notwithstanding the foregoing, no personal information shall be collected and retained by the organizers, doctors, and Abbott Nutrition in compliance with the existing data privacy laws and regulations, including but not limited to the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations. The organizer shall not be held liable for any misinterpretation or misuse of such information voluntarily shared by participants during the live session. We reserve the right to remove comments that are inappropriate or offensive, attacks another participant personally, including hate speech or comments that encourage illegal activity. Usapang Alaga Nutrition Counseling, Guidelines for Participation and Viewing. This service is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease to be used for a therapeutic purpose or made as a substitute for the advice of your child's healthcare provider or doctor. The information may include the views or recommendations of third parties and does not necessarily reflect the views of Abbott Nutrition. The views and opinions expressed by the host and speakers do not state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the assumptions, views, opinions, and insinuations made by the host or guests do not reflect those of the show, the management, and Abbott Nutrition. Only questions pertaining to children three years old and above will be answered in compliance with the milk code. And questions concerning children three years and below must be directed to viewers' own healthcare providers. By participating in Usapang Alaga's Facebook Live, participants agree and acknowledge that all information shared during the activity shall be visible to all live stream viewers. Notwithstanding the foregoing, no personal information shall be collected and retained by the organizers, doctors, and Abbott Nutrition in compliance with the existing data privacy laws and regulations, including but not limited to the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations. The organizer shall not be held liable for any misinterpretation or misuse of such information voluntarily shared by participants during the live session. We reserve the right to remove comments that are inappropriate or offensive, attacks another participant personally, including hate speech or comments that encourage illegal activity. Usapang Alaga Nutrition Counseling, Guidelines for Participation and Viewing. This service is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease to be used for a therapeutic purpose or made as a substitute for the advice of your child's healthcare provider or doctor. The information may include the views or recommendations of third parties and does not necessarily reflect the views of Abbott Nutrition. 
The views and opinions expressed by the host and speakers do not state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the assumptions, views, opinions, and insinuations made by the host or guests do not reflect those of the show, the management, and Abbott Nutrition. Only questions pertaining to children three years old and above will be answered in compliance with the milk code, and questions concerning children three years and below must be directed to viewers' own health care providers. By participating in Usapang Alaga's Facebook Live, participants agree and acknowledge that all information shared during the activity shall be visible to all live stream viewers. Notwithstanding the foregoing, no personal information shall be collected and retained by the organizers, doctors, and Abbott Nutrition in compliance with the existing data privacy laws and regulations, including but not limited to the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations. The organizer shall not be held liable for any misinterpretation or misuse of such information voluntarily shared by participants during the live session. We reserve the right to remove comments that are inappropriate or offensive, attacks another participant personally, including hate speech or comments that encourage illegal activity. Usapang Alaga Nutrition Counseling Guidelines for Participation and Viewing This service is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease to be used for a therapeutic purpose or made as a substitute for the advice of your child's healthcare provider or doctor. The information may include the views or recommendations of third parties and does not necessarily reflect the views of Abbott Nutrition. The views and opinions expressed by the host and speakers do not state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the assumptions, views, opinions, and insinuations made by the host or guests do not reflect those of the show, the management, and Abbott Nutrition. Only questions pertaining to children three years old and above will be answered in compliance with the milk code, and questions concerning children three years and below must be directed to viewers' own health care providers. By participating in Usapang Alaga's Facebook Live, participants agree and acknowledge that all information shared during the activity shall be visible to all live stream viewers. Notwithstanding the foregoing, no personal information shall be collected and retained by the organizers, doctors, and Abbott Nutrition in compliance with the existing data privacy laws and regulations, including but not limited to the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations. The organizer shall not be held liable for any misinterpretation or misuse of such information voluntarily shared by participants during the live session. We reserve the right to remove comments that are inappropriate or offensive, attacks another participant personally, including hate speech or comments that encourage illegal activity. Usapang Alaga Nutrition Counseling Guidelines for Participation and Viewing This service is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease to be used for a therapeutic purpose or made as a substitute for the advice of your child's healthcare provider or doctor. 
The information may include the views or recommendations of third parties and does not necessarily reflect the views of Abbott Nutrition. The views and opinions expressed by the host and speakers do not state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the assumptions, views, opinions, and insinuations made by the hosts or guests do not reflect those of the show, the management, and Abbott Nutrition. Only questions pertaining to children three years old and above will be answered in compliance with the milk code, and questions concerning children three years and below must be directed to viewers' own health care providers. By participating in Usapang Alaga's Facebook Live, participants agree and acknowledge that all information shared during the activity shall be visible to all live stream viewers. Notwithstanding the foregoing, no personal information shall be collected and retained by the organizers, doctors, and Abbott Nutrition in compliance with the existing data privacy laws and regulations, including but not limited to the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations. The organizer shall not be held liable for any misinterpretation or misuse of such information voluntarily shared by participants during the live session. We reserve the right to remove comments that are inappropriate or offensive, attacks another participant personally, including hate speech or comments that encourage illegal activity. Usapang Alaga Nutrition Counseling Guidelines for Participation and Viewing This service is not meant to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease to be used for a therapeutic purpose or made as a substitute for the advice of your child's health care provider or doctor. The information may include the views or recommendations of third parties and does not necessarily reflect the views of Abbott Nutrition. The views and opinions expressed by the host and speakers do not state or reflect those of the company and its management. Furthermore, the assumptions, views, opinions, and insinuations made by the hosts or guests do not reflect those of the show, the management, and Abbott Nutrition. Only questions pertaining to children three years old and above will be answered in compliance with the milk code, and questions concerning children three years and below must be directed to viewers' own health care providers. By participating in Usapang Alaga's Facebook Live, participants agree and acknowledge that all information shared during the activity shall be visible to all live stream viewers. Notwithstanding the foregoing, no personal information shall be collected and retained by the organizers, doctors, and Abbott Nutrition in compliance with the existing data privacy laws and regulations, including but not limited to the Data Privacy Act of 2012 and its implementing rules and regulations. The organizer shall not be held liable for any misinterpretation or misuse of such information voluntarily shared by participants during the live session. We reserve the right to remove comments that are inappropriate or offensive, attacks another participant personally, including hate speech or comments that encourage illegal activity. Hello, hello po sa inyong lahat. My name is Susie Abrera and welcome to Usapang Alaga. I am so excited. This is our very first episode of Usapang Alaga. This is an online series of nutrition counseling. Shepard, we'll be focusing on how proper nutrition 
is very important to keep our families healthy so that we can live life to the fullest. Nako, alam ko yung mga mommies na katulad ko, mga daddies na nanonood, ang focus natin talaga ngayon is to make sure na maganda ang immune system ng ating mga anak, di po ba? Pero syempre, lalong-lalo na tayo dahil tayo ang nag-aalaga sa kanila. So, for today's episode, we want to talk about how we can ensure that the proper nutrition is had by every member of the family. Kaya, naka-super excited na ako dahil I'm sure marami akong matututunan, marami kayo matututunan sa ating special guest sa araw nito. Makakasama po natin ang Medical Director for Asia Pacific ng Abbott Nutrition. We have Doc Jun De Maano. Hi, Doc Jun! Hi Suzy, hello to you and hello sa lahat ng nanonood sa atin ngayon. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to see you again. Kamusta ka naman, Doc? You're looking very well. Wow, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mabuti naman. I'm getting used to this situation, so I'm making the most out of it. I'm doing well and uh, happy naman so far and happy to share information to all of our viewers. Ikaw, kamusta ka naman and your family? Okay din kami ng family. Siyempre, marami na kami mga na-explore na activities dito sa tagal namin magkakasama. Which is really good kasi for bonding, biglang na-rediscover yung mga board games, yung mga scrabble, di ba doon? Ang saya nun. Tama, Tapos, tama. Maganda yung interaction with the family members kasi yeah. lagi tayong magkasama ngayon. No? So maganda na to make the most out of it, to strengthen the relationship with each other. Kasi importante yan, not just for physical strength but for mental health as well. Absolutely. So important nowadays. At saka, syempre, uh, once a week kami ay nagsa-sunbathing sa garahe. Naks, parang may outing din kami. <laughs> at saka, aside from making sure that they eat properly and eat healthy, aba, inoobliga ko talaga sila, Doc, na mag-exercise sila at least 30 minutes every day. That's very good. No? Important yung exercise kasi exercise is also good to boost the immune system and for overall health. So, kailangan din yan. Lalo na ngayon na uh, ang tendency ng mga tao is to be sedentary kasi nasa bahay yes. lang. So, kailangan make it a point to exert effort to, uh, to, to, do, to have some physical activity and to exercise. Yun. At saka bukod doon, syempre doc, kailangan healthy yung kinakain la as much as possible which is good na nasa bahay tayo dahil nababantayan bigla yung mga bata. So, ang tanong ko doc, um, para sa ma-boost yung immune system ng mga tao, ano ba yung araw-araw dapat na nutrients na meron tayo at saan ba mga pagkain na hanap yung mga yan? Okay, so maganda yung nabanggit mo yung nutrition because nutrition is one of the more uh, easily controlled variables na ating health. No? Sabi nga na ni Hippocrates, who is the father of medicine, sabi niya na let food be your medicine. Nice. So kapag ka kumakain tayo ng tama, ng healthy food, mm-hmm. so prevent din natin yung mga diseases at mapapalakas natin ang ating immune system mm-hmm. at ma-maintain natin ang ating kalusugan. Kaya napaka-importante ng pagpili ng tamang pagkain, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Mm-hmm. So yung question mo is ano ba yung mga pagkain na dapat natin kainin, lalo yes. na ngayon na kailangan natin palakasin ng immune system. So una-una, kailangan diversified o iba't ibang klase ng pagkain ang ating mm. ibibigay sa ating pamilya, lalo na sa ating mga uh, anak, no? mga bata, uh-huh. at yung mga matatanda na ating inaalagaan. Kasi yes. kailangan sila yung mga mas vulnerable na groups. So kailangan palakasin yung kanilang immune system. Mm-hmm. Usually, kailangan natin sila bigyan ng fruits and vegetables. Nice. So kapag um, iba't iba yung kulay, ng mga pagkain sa kanilang plate, no? sa kanilang pinggan. Let's say, meron siya tomato, may carrot, may kalabasa, may, may spinach, may petchay, and also fish and lean mm-hmm. meats. Then, the more diversified, the more um, assured they are of getting enough and uh, complete and balanced nutrition right. na kailangan nila mm-hmm. to help them strengthen their immune system especially. Tsaka mas naakagana actually kumain do kapag makulay yung plate. Tama. Basta yung natural color niya, hindi yun. Ayaw nga pala. Ayaw nga pala. <laughs> yeah. Buti sinabi mo uh-huh. rin niya. <laughs> Tama. Mas magana. Mas mahahagana kumain kasi yes. iba-iba eh. So very parang alive yung, yung mm-hmm. pagkain ko. Mm-hmm. So dyan pumapasok yung concept na whole food. No? Yung mga pagkain na fruits and vegetables kinakain mo as they are. Kasi let's say in a... In a in an orange or in a mango, marami kang nutrients na makukuha doon just by eating it in its raw, natural form. Nice, nice. So, then we, when we talk about the nutrients, mm-hmm. marami nutrients na nagpapalakas ng immune system. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, pwede yeah. natin i-discuss isa-isa yun. So, we we'll start with the micronutrients. So, yung mga micronutrients na tinatawag natin, no? ito yung mga maliliit na molecules or elements or minerals sa ating katawan. Mm-hmm. Ang isang example nito na madali natin makukuha sa ating pagkain ay vitamin A. And mm-hmm. vitamin A is important to strengthen the mucous membranes or, of our body. 
ang pagsabi ko mucous membranes, ito yung lining or yung skin na or yung yung part nung 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 skin na naglalain ng ating um, gastrointestinal tract, oh. ng mouth, ating gums, pati yung ating respiratory tract, no? Starting from the nose all the way down to our lungs, no? Wow. Kailangan mo ng vitamin A to strengthen those. Kasi Akala ko ngayon, vitamin A, Doc, sa mata lang. Di ba sabi ng mga bata tayo, pag kumain ng carrots, vitamin A sa mata. Para sa mata. Correct. Tama rin yan. Para rin yung tao eh. Ang vitamin A, multitasker din. So, marami siyang hmm. functions in the body. Meron siya for immune system. Meron din siya for the eye. Especially yung medyo nagdidilim na. No? Iba kasing cells, uh, kapag maliwanag, iba right. yung cells sa mata na nagpa-function, iba rin uh-huh. kapag medyo madilim. Pag madilim na, yung cells na yon ng mata, kailangan niya supportahan ng vitamin A. Mm-hmm. Yung makukuha mo sa yellow and orange vegetables. Tulad niya sabi mo, carrots, uh-huh. basa, squash. squash. So, yeah. so lahat yan is also a good source of vitamin A. Aside from its immune system uh, functions and strengthening the uh, lining of our um, different organs, which serve as the first barrier or first line of defense against invading microorganisms. So, yun ang vitamin That's what A. it's for. It coats it. Yes. What about vitamin C, the very famous? Yeah, the vitamin C, <laughs> very famous vitamin C. It's also known as ascorbic acid. No? Mm-hmm. Being an acid, ito yung mga nakikita natin sa mga maasim na mga fruits. No? Mm-hmm. Eh, ano examples ito? Meron tayong kalamansi, meron tayong pomelo, mm-hmm. or suha, oh, oh. alandan, Yan. Alandan, oranges, and nakikita din ito sa mga ibang vegetables. No? Right. Like mga green, red bell pepper, mm-hmm. uh, cauliflower, broccoli, meron ding vitamins. Ang daming sources ng vitamins. Eh yung sikat na guava. Di ba yun yeah. yung hindi maasim pero mataas ang vitamin C? Marami ding vitamin C ang, ang guava. So yan yung mga nakikita natin sa yung, dito sa Pilipinas. Na yan! Minsan di natin pinapansin pag nag-grocery tayo. Pero ito yung mga maraming... Um, sustansya na maidudulot sa ating mm-hmm, katawan. No? Mm-hmm, Ang vitamin C naman, importante siya also to strengthen the lining of the different organs of the body which serve as the first line of defense against organisms. Pero mm-hmm. aside from that, meron din siyang effect sa collagen. Yung collagen, okay. alam mo yan, di ba? Yung collagen is important for the health of our skin. Yes, health of our skin. Youthfulness uh, and also the strengthening uh, of our skin. Kasi uh, kunwari, medyo mahina yung skin natin, hindi maganda yung health ng skin natin, then madali rin siyang ma-infect at yung mga sugat natin hindi kaagad maghihilom or hindi maghihilom kaagad kung kulang tayo sa vitamin C. Kaya naalala mo siguro nung bata tayo, kunwari nagkaroon tayo ng singaw, di ba? Yes. Sabihin ng, ng nanay natin, oh kumain ka lang ng ano, maraming, ano, let's say, uminom ka lang maraming orange juice or calamansi juice to take vitamin C. Ito, para ma-boost yung vitamin C. Para okay. strengthen niya yung wound healing na nangyayari sa ating mga gilagid no? para mag-heal ka agad yun. Kasi mm-hmm. meron din siyang effect doon. No? So that's also part of the immune system to protect us against invading organisms. Right. Tapos meron din tayong tinatawag na vitamin E naman. Oo. Al- alam ko dyan, Doc, parang skin and nails. Yeah, pero hindi lang siya sa skin and nails. Again, all over the body, marami mm-hmm. siyang effect. No? And ang main effect niya is antioxidant. Pag sinabi mo antioxidant, ibig sabihin nyo to na pinoprotect niya yung ating tissues from Aha. excessive oxidation. Aha. We have oxygen, no? we breathe in oxygen, pero kung masyadong madami rin oxygen na, na pumapasok sa ating katawan, medyo meron din siyang negative effect. So merong antioxidants which are also important for infections to Aha. combat or to address infections. Uh, so, meron din siyang immune-boosting effect right. through its antioxidant activity. Vitamin E can be found in nuts, uh, like peanuts, almonds, oh, wow. and mga different types of oils, sunflower oil, sunflower oil, olive oil, lahat ito, avocados, merong vitamin E. So, yun lang yung ilan sa mga vitamins na na nakukuha natin sa yeah. from the, the, the food that we eat right. na can also help in boosting the immune system. Pero marami pang iba, but we don't have... Uh, we cannot discuss all of them. All today. of them, so we yes. Just focus yes. on vitamin A, C, and E. And, e. and of course, last one, which is not a micronutrient, protein. Wow, which is a protein. Macronutrient. Protein, yes. Nakakatulong siya sa pag-boost ng immune system ng tao? Yes, kasi most of most people, they would just think oh. no, protein is important for muscle building. Yes, yes. Mga bodybuilders, gusto magdagdag ng muscle. Pero yes. hindi lang yun ang function niya. While it's true, that it's important for the health of our muscles, protein is also important to strengthen our immune system. Right. 
Alam mo ba na yung mga antibodies na panlaban natin sa mga infection, it's uh-huh. made of protein. Oh and yung mga God. cytokines, cytokines na ginagamit, mga substances to na ginagamit ng immune system natin to communicate with each other, tsaka yung mga cells ng immune system, mm-hmm. kailangan nila ng amino acids na nanggagaling din sa protein because cytokines and also the, the rest of the cellular structure mm-hmm. are also made up of protein. So that kailangan so talaga natin ng protein to increase the, the, the health or the strength of our immune system. Well, doon medyo nagulat ako ah, kasi hindi ko siya uh, inasahan na kasama siya sa pag-boost ng immune system. Yung protein, so we've got vitamin A. This is not just F, all of it, pero um, kumbaga the important ones are vitamin A, C, and E, and also protein. Anything else that we can do to make sure na everyday meron tayo nun? So yung protein na yun, um, galing yun sa mga, kunwari plant-based on diet, sa mga munggo, sa mga tofu, oh. sa mga beans, legumes, etc. Yes. Now, kunwari, kumakain ka ng iba-ibang klaseng pagkain, pwede mo rin siya makuha sa fish or sa lean meats. Nice. No? So, and also from milk, kasi milk is, and eggs are also good sources of protein. protein. So yun yung mga different sources. But of course, yung minention natin, no? protein, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, these are just a few of the nutrients. Yes. Ang importante pa rin talaga is to take a complete and balanced meal. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Uh, uh, you know, meron ka macronutrients, meron ka micronutrients in the right proportions. Kasi yeah. kailangan mo rin ng energy, especially from carbohydrates and fat, uh-huh. para to maintain yung mga activities mo of daily living. I so see. kailangan complete and balanced ang iyong nutrition every day. Right. What about water, Doc? Ang init kasi ngayon eh. May kinalaman ba yan para sa pag-boost ng immune system natin? Yes, kasi yan ang lagi sinasabi. Ay no, kaya ka sakit, hindi ka umiinom masyado ng tubig. Correct. No, water is also one of the most inexpensive ways to maintain our health. No? Kasi alam mo ba na tayo, yung katawan natin, is made up of approximately 60% water. Right. So mukha tayong solid, no? Pero actually, 60% of uh, our body is actually made up of water. And right. therefore, if it's made up of water, kailangan din natin i-maintain yung water sa ating katawan. Oh. Now, water is important to regulate temperature. Mm-hmm. Lalo na ngayon na napaka-init, o umuulan pa minsan, tapos umiinit ulit. So kailangan natin to keep our body cool to, so that to maintain the different uh, cellular functions in our body. So, kailangan tama lang yung temperature. And one way to do that is to drink lots of water. So, impo- ano ba yung enough water? Depending ba yan sa laki ng tao or sa age ng tao? Yes, no? Uh, ang water kasi, um, iba-iba yung uh, requirement natin ng water depende sa laki or even sa tanda ng tao. Mm-hmm. Kasi an adult male or an, versus an adult female, magkaiba yung kanilang uh, water requirement kasi iba yung kanilang volume, yung mass ng katawan. Uh-huh. So, um, in general, para madaling tandaan, alam, alam natin to from elementary health yes. science, no? <laughs> eight by eight rule. Alam mo ba yung eight by eight rule? Umuo ko kanina, hindi ko pala alam yung second. <laughs> ano ba yung eight by eight? eight, eight, by eight, 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 eight Absent yata ako nun. Eight, eight glasses. glasses of water a day na eight ounces of water. One glass is eight ounces of water. Yes. Tapos times eight glasses. Para madaling tandaan. However, okay. that only amounts to about two liters of water every day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which for a tropical country such as the Philippines, medyo baka kulang yun. Lalo na ngayon, right. no? summer, mainit. Yes, yes. So, pwede tayo mag-take ng more than that eight by eight rule. So, right. kung lalaki ka, let's say you're uh, an adult male, mm-hmm. you're a man, usually nasa 3.7 liters of water a day. Okay. That amounts to about 15.5 cups of water a day. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Babae naman, adult female, woman, nasa 2.7 liters of water a day, mm-hmm. 11.5 cups. Okay. And water. for kids, na minsan hindi uminom ng tubig. Yes, ano naman yan, mga nasa 6 to 8 cups a day. But th- these are just uh, parang guidance Guides. lang, to, oh, guide lang oh. to. Hindi ito yung hard and fast rule. Of right. course, let your thirst guide you. Kasi kung nau- nauuhaw tayo, ay sabihin talagang dehydrated tayo. Yeah, so just yeah. drink. Mm-mm. And sometimes we forego drinking because we are so busy with doing other things. Right. But again, as I've said, it's one of the inexpensive ways to maintain our health. Kaya drink as much as you can. 
uh, lalo na ngayon na napaka-init. Other, lagi kayo um, mag-ano, bit-bit, lagi ako timo, Dok. Lagi ako may lalagyan um, ng tubig. Uh, or or oh, ngayon, oh. uso na ngayon yung water dispenser sa bahay. So make yes. the most out of that. Di ka na kailangan pumunta sa ref at magbukas ng ref. Yes. Pumuka ng tubig kasi may water dispenser naman. Exactly. Importante din kasi yung water for the joints, no? To maintain, mm-hmm. to lubricate the joints, to transport right. nutrients to the different organs of the body. To, uh, to produce the different fluids in the body, like saliva, yeah. yung sipon natin, yung mucus. At saka and tears, kakaiyak sa tea tears. drama. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bukod sa water, I'm really such an advocate of that. Milk, how important is milk still for us? Okay, milk is important too because it's a, a complete and balanced nutrition in itself. Mm-hmm. So milk is actually given to kids and also even to adults. Yes. Pero kasi ang um, milk, it can be considered as one of the uh, complete food mm-hmm. and also an oral nutritional supplement or tinatawag natin ONS. Okay. So oral nutritional supplement. Uh, from the word itself, supplement siya, ibig sabihin pandagdag siya dun sa kinakain ng tao. No? Whether mm-hmm. it's a, a child or even an adult, pwede ka gumamit ng ONS which is usually milk-based but it's not necessarily always milk mm-hmm. especially for adults no? yung mga adults they are taking some oral nutritional supplements especially yung mga elderly yes. na they look like milk and they taste like milk but they are not really milk but they okay. have components coming from milk mm-hmm. such as whey and casein protein mm-hmm. but for kids usually yung ONS nila yung oral nutritional supplements are really um, milk-based which are fortified with vitamins, minerals, and other micronutrients. So, important ito as an, a convenient source of complete and balanced nutrition, lalo na kung meron mga health uh, challenges tayo yes. sa ating mga pamilya. Tulad ng picky eating behavior. Yan. Or yung lagi, kumakain nga siya, no? marami siyang kinakain, pero paulit-ulit. Hindi masustansya, hindi, hindi balanse. Masustansya, hindi balanse. Ah. So, it is a convenient way to supplement the, the food intake or the nutrition intake of a child or even of an adult para right. ma-insure mo na nandoon lahat yung importante nutrients na kailangan ng kanyang katawan. Either a supplement or a meal replacement. Pero uh-huh. for us, most of us are healthy naman. Yes. Kailangan lang natin ng supplementation which we can get from milk or from oral nutritional supplements. So, importante rin yan to consider, especially those who may be at risk for nutritional deficiencies. Right. Lalo na we're talking about the health of the entire family. So, That's kung kayo, right. okay kayo sa prutas at gulay, kompleto kayo sa pagkain, baka meron kayo member ng family na hindi na ukuha lahat ng mga daily nutritional requirements, you can look into uh, no, making sure that you have um, any product na may ONS dito sa inyong, you know, whenever you do your grocery. Now, ito, Doc, ito na chance na mga ano, nanunood sa atin na makapagtanong sa'yo. Of Then, course. Alaman to sa ating lahat. Okay, we've got a question here. Uh, one of our FB comments and uh, he or she said, how do I know if any of my family members are undernourished? Okay. No? So, magandang katanungan niya. No? Una-una, ang pinakamaganda is really to assess ourselves objectively. Pag sinabi ko objectively, meron kasing measures sa talagang gagamit ka ng, let's say, ng machine or device mm-hmm. to measure yung, ano mo, let's say, weighing scale mm-hmm. or a ruler or, uh, mm-hmm. let's say, for height no? or for, let's say, uh, uh, a tape measure. No? Yes. So, the uh-huh. best way really is to go to a doctor to to a doctor in his clinic para ma-measure itong mga bagay na to. Mm-hmm. However, hindi naman natin kayang gawin yan ngayon dahil lahat yeah. sa bahay. So, right. pwede natin, kung meron tayong weighing scale sa bahay or meron tayong growth chart, yeah. height chart, pwede natin gamitin yun to see kung appropriate yung height or weight natin, lalo na sa mga bata, mm-hmm. yung sa ating edad. Right. Sa matatanda naman, pwede natin tingnan din kung meron ba silang sudden loss of weight. Yes. Meron ba silang... Um, loss of appetite, nawawala yes. yung gana ng pagkain. Yung pagkain ba, let's say, serve natin sila ng isang plate no, of food, nauubos ba nila more than 60 or 70%? Mm-hmm. Dahil kung hindi, pwedeng meron silang undernourishment or mm-hmm. at risk sila for undernourishment. For kids naman, mm-hmm. may kita mo naman kung bigla siyang pumayat, walang gana yeah. kumain, right. medyo sakitin, uh-huh. matamlay. So those are signs or symptoms of undernourishment. Right. But again, the best way is really to go to a doctor to mm-hmm. have ourselves assessed in terms of our nutritional status. Right. At saka lalo na nasa, well, ngayon na nasa bahay tayo most of the time, may chance na rin kayo na ma-observe yung sarili niyong family members, di ba? Kasi when right. everybody's usually busy, kanya-kanya tayo ng gawa, baka sakaling hindi nyo napapansin. But now is the best time to see if there's anything to be concerned about. 
Correct. So may kita mo yung behavior niya, eh. lalo na for kids, no? kung mm-hmm. yun lang ba nang yun ang kanyang kinakain. At merong ways tayo, creative ways to, uh, to make sure that diversified o iba't ibang klase ng pagkain at sustansya ng pagkain ang nakukuha ng ating anak. So it's a Ayan, good point yun. that raised, no? to observe. Yes, sakto yun, Dok, kasi the next question actually is, any suggestions on how to manage picky eaters in the family? <laughs> <laughs> no. Ang picky eaters actually hindi lang bata yan, no? pati adults, mga picky mm-hmm. eaters din. So let's start with the kids. Sa kids kasi minsan, let's say, nasanay na yan sa let's say, pagkain na maala. Let's say yes. chicken or let's say cheese. Yes. So uulit-ulitin na niya yan. Yes. Sa pahirap mm-hmm. na minsan baguhin. Mm-hmm. Well, these, um, these foods are also nutritious. Kaya lang yung, nu- nu- yung nutrients na nakukuha mo sa kanila is the same kind every day. Yes. No? Uh, uh. Sa katawan nila. So, kailangan iba't iba. So, one way is to mirror or to, uh, to model it to them. As adults, as parents, as caregivers, we have to show them that we are eating fruits, vegetables, and different kinds of healthy food para makita nila na sa atin, by example, yes. that we are eating the right food. Oh, That's oh. one. Another is yung tinatawag nating uh, food chaining. Food chaining? Ayan, hindi pa. chaining. <laughs> Hindi ito yung food chain sa nature. Ha? Yung food chain, oh, yung, oh. Ano, yung food chain, yung pagkakabit-kabit or pag-transition ng one type of food para matikman din niya yung iba. For example, mahilig siya ng fried chicken. Yes. So, let's say fried chicken na kinakain niya with rice. Yes. So, mo haluan ng konting uh, chopped vegetables on the side. Tapos mm-hmm. later on, let's say after a week, i-chop mo yung fried chicken. Tapos uh-huh. ihalo mo sa mga green peas, chopped carrots, ah. or corn. Tapos next, ihalo mo sa kanyang rice. Uh-uh. chopped chicken na may kasamang vegetables. Tapos next, pwede mo gawing tinola na may mga leafy greens na. Pero chicken pa rin yung, yes. line, yung pinaka-common na pagkain among all of those different types of dishes. Pero That's inumpi-unti mo siya, hindi mo siya ginawang abrupt para hindi naman masyadong magbago yung lasa at yung texture niya. Correct. Manok pa rin siya, unti-unti lang. Manok pa rin siya kasi favorite niya yun. Eh. Yes. So, unti-unti mong babaguhin. Pwede rin may konting cream or sarsa. Uy, sarap Para eh. nandun pa rin yung chicken na fried, pero nalagay mo na ng iba-ibang klaseng uh, fruits and vegetables. Oh, ganda na mga tips mo, Doc. Maraming maraming salamat. And of course, thank you so much sa nagpadala ng mga questions sa atin sa ating Facebook. And thank you, Doc, for sharing all of that information with us. Kasi a lot of those things na minention nyo, kunwari mga vitamins A, C, and E, and protein, we already know just the the top part or the top bit of what it's known for. Yung pala, ang dami niyang underlying na ginagawa para sa kalusugan ng ating katawan. So, thank you so much for all of that. It's my pleasure, Suzy. Yeah, and of course, uh, Doc, baka meron pa doon sa mga gusto kumabaw ng questions. Uh, how can they do that? So, hindi, hindi naman kailangan mag-end dito sa programang ito. Uh, I'm sure marami pa ibang topics na pwede tayong pag-usapan no? about nutrition. So, pero kung kayo, if you have special concerns mm-hmm. about nutrition, you can have um, you can avail of a service. It's a nutrition counseling service that is offered by Abbott. Uh, we call it NutriConnect. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is um, a hotline being manned by registered nutritionist dietitians who can give you proper advice on you know, whatever health or nutrition concern that you have. No? Mm-hmm. And uh, they can call this number, um, 8995-1555. That's 8995-1555. Or they can also go to our Alagang Abbott Facebook page and they can just drop a message to us so that they can book an appointment for our nutrition counseling service called NutriConnect. So that's one uh, of the services that Abbott would like to extend to, uh, to the people out there para during this time na nasa bahay tayo, oh. we can really maximize our education and our knowledge about important things to uh, keep our health and to keep ourselves strong. Absolutely. No, thank you for all of that, Doc. Siyempre, uh, mag-recap lang ko ng konti. So, the food choices that we make every day, di ba, will have an effect on our health today, tomorrow, and in the future. That's Living right. a healthy lifestyle, importante dyan ang proper nutrition. And then, of course, coupled with regular exercise for us to maintain our ideal weight para maka-avoid tayo ng mga chronic illnesses. Tsaka, siyempre, parang to live an overall good and healthy life. By the way, Abbott Nutrition offers three-day delivery service. So kung gusto niyo po mag-order ng ilan sa aming mga products, there's Similac Game School. There's also Ensure Gold with HMB. You can also order Pediature Plus or Glucerna SR. All you have to do is go to the Alagang Abbott Facebook page for more information. So that's it. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you once again, Doc June. Ang dami namin natutunan sa'yo. 
You're welcome. It's my pleasure. And it's always, you know, great talking to you and, uh, you know, communicating a lot of these information that I hope your viewers will find useful in maintaining and supporting their health. Thank you so much for sharing all that information so clearly, so easy to understand. Thank you, Thank Doc. You. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, our viewers, I hope you guys can catch us again next week, same time, as we talk about nutrition for growth. So if you have family members, mga growing boys and girls, be sure to catch us again next week sa ating Usapang Alaga. Ito po si Susie Abrera. Stay safe and healthy, everybody.